Hi there folks, on Wednesday I went for a remarkable piece of surgery and I thought how could I combine Wednesday's experience with this week's video. So I took my discharge letter and I passed it into Copilot to see if it could summarise the procedure for me and help me understand some of the questions that I had about the procedure, the drugs and the technology that was used to potentially reduce the number of PVCs or premature ventricular contractions in my ventricle, which is the lower chambers of my heart. So for those that know me, I had a cardiac arrest four years ago and I've blogged about that on my website and over the last four years had all sorts of different complications with the device that I had installed. First of all, I had an ICD installed and then after about 18 months, I developed an obstruction and I had that ICD removed and replaced with a subcutaneous ICD. And then I went on to have what's called AV block caused by one of the drugs that I was on. And I collapsed and I had a pacemaker, a leadless pacemaker. Since all of those procedures about 18 months ago, my ectopics of my heart have continued to deteriorate. And I've been waiting for this ablation. And of course, it finally happened on Wednesday. So if I bring up my discharge notes on screen right now, you can see that I am indeed 43 years old and not 21, like I'd claimed last week in my video about variables. I have got a subcutaneous ICD and also a micra, which is for my AV block, and a high burden of ventricle ectopics. On the day, I had about 50% ectopics, and uh, throughout the course of the procedure, they proceeded to turn off my devices, use various kit up through my groin, through my femoral artery and femoral vein, to explore my heart and look for that additional electrical activity, with the hope of using something to burn off that faulty flesh, which is part of the condition I have called ARVC, which generates fatty tissue rather than the usual heart muscle. So at one point they were sticking 40 watts through the end of their uh, guided device and ablating the heart muscle on my ventricle. But without me going into more detail and exploring these complicated notes, let's see if Copilot can help me understand the procedure. So over onto Copilot, I can actually drag and drop the image into Copilot and I've already configured my opening line, you are to act like a personal and knowledgeable cardiologist and explain to me in layman's what the attached report explains. Now it's worth mentioning that uh, Copilot now uses GPT-40, so it's multimodal, it can access both images and text. So with my text prompt that I provided and the image of my report, we're now able to see a breakdown of my procedure. It was based on a 43 year old with biventricular cardiomyopathy due to a ventricular ectopy, which are heartbeats originating from the ventricles. And talking from experience, it feels very much like I have an untuned engine rattling about inside my body all the time. The procedure was a catheter ablation in via two areas on my groin, and we'll ask that question later on. But during the procedure, they were able to zap some areas of my uh, heart to try and reduce that ectopy. And the results were that my ectp went from 50% down to less than 4%, which means that not only is my heart beating more regularly, it feels less like the uh, untuned or unmapped car engine. But saying that, it's very early days, and as I recover, as I heal, there's every possibility that this could just return back to normal. And certainly, whilst the first 24 hours were amazing and my heart was very stable, during the next few days and into the weekend, I do start to feel a bit wobbly again. So hopefully this is just all part of the healing process and I'll reflect back in three months time. So the plan is very much I'll continue my medication and uh, we'll monitor my heart rhythm. But one of the burning questions that I really had was, can you explain the veins or arteries that would have been accessed? So you see here the most common veins are the femoral veins in the groin, which is pretty amazing given that I'm six foot five, they must have used quite a lengthy wire. The other way is a juggler vein in your neck. I have in fact experienced that firsthand, not under general like I was this time, where they initially took a biopsy of my heart when I was first being diagnosed. 
The other location is the femoral artery. Again, in the groin, both of these areas were used for me in order to access the various areas of my heart. And amazing that they can get kit into my heart temporarily to perform these procedures. So one of the pieces of kit that they used was called an octoray, and the cardiologist had described it to me as an octopus-like device that will go inside my heart and sense the electrical activity around the various areas of my heart walls. And indeed, when I looked up what is an octoray, I have the following details, and if I was to follow the link to the manufacturer's details, there are several images and you can see again how amazing it is that you can get up to 48 electrodes on this device on my heart wall to map out the electrical activity. Now of course various drugs were used on me and I still take prescription drugs for my heart disease so I was very curious to see what drugs were used during my procedure. I know that general anaesthetic was used because I was asked what my favourite holiday destination was and I was pleasantly telling them about my trip to Disney with my family a couple of years ago and then I woke up five and a half hours later. I was on heparin which is a blood thinner, protamine which is reversing the effects of heparin. I take bisoprol for my um, ectopics and I'm back onto that right now and I'm also taking this other drug rivoxaban, river, rivoxaban which is an anticoagulant to prevent blood clots after the procedure, and I'll be on that for 28 days. So another piece of kit that was used on me was called ICE, and I was quite interested to find out what that was all about. And it's inserted via a catheter, but it's an ultrasound device that's actually inserted from inside my heart. So traditionally, if you think about when you are pregnant, if you're a lady maybe, you will have an ultrasound done to check how your baby is developing. I had an ultrasound rather from the outside but from the inside of my heart using this catheter insertion. Now they say a picture speaks a thousand words and if I was to share this image of my ECG on my Apple Watch which is just a two lead ECG, it's a very basic method of performing an ECG on your heart and it is to be taken with a pinch of salt but given that I know my heart pattern I can look at what it was before at 7am prior to the procedure and then if I look at it again at 7pm after the procedure it's quite amazing to see the effects of the ablation and the fact that all of these additional ectopic beats that I'm highlighting have been if not almost all removed. Now finally my last question to co-pilot is this process was performed on me. I am Damobar365, write me a blog post. So we've got a blog post here that's being put together. It's a good starting point. Remember this is generative AI, so it's not always accurate, it's not always true. It doesn't share my personal experience and feelings, but I can tell you that I'm incredibly grateful for everyone at NHS Grampian who performed this procedure on me. I'm really hopeful that uh, it, it does have a long-term positive effect on me, but ultimately I'm also very realistic in that this procedure is still an unknown. I've got to wait three months for everything to heal. I've seen the bruising around my groin where the various catheters went in, so seeing the bruising etc on my groin, I can only imagine that the bruising etc inside me and my heart is very similar and I just need to take things easy. So I'm very much looking forward to being in Vegas in about three, four weeks time. I hope to meet as many of you as possible. I hope this demo has showcased the possibilities of Copilot. It certainly helped me get lots of different answers to my discharge letter. That's not to say that the staff at NHS Grampian haven't answered my questions, they have, but as an additional resource, Knowing that Copilot is generative AI, but at the same time it's a remarkable tool that has helped me to find extra resources about my procedure and have a better understanding about what's been going on inside my body whilst I was asleep for five hours on Wednesday, which was just a few days ago. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll hopefully be back next week with a full-blown demo end-to-end -end of 
Power Automate or Copilot Studio or Power Apps. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.